my name is Amit. In this session, I will be teaching you a very very interesting concept called as power cycles. Okay. Now this is a concept from arithmetic from the chapter of number systems. A concept will take us five to ten minutes to understand. And if you get any question from the power cycles uh, chapter, it will take you less than thirty seconds to answer that particular question. That's how powerful and interesting this particular concept is. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to now go the reverse way. I'm going to show you what a scary looking question you're going to start off with when you see a power cycles question. I have written a number seven to the power two hundred and eighty-five. Okay, a huge number. Question that you will be asked in the power cycles uh, book is, what is going to be the units digit when I expand this number? Now you know what I mean by expanding this number. It basically says that if I were to write seven into seven into seven into seven and so on, and then finally find out the answer for that multiplication, which is seven multiplied by itself two hundred and eighty-five times. I get a huge answer. What is going to be the units digit of that particular number? So basically, this is some number, and what is the units digit of this number? This is what is asked. Okay, I will help you answer this question. Let me just put this aside in a corner. We'll come back to this question after some time. So we will come back to that particular question after some time. Understand the concept of power cycles. What is two to the power one two? What is two square four? What is two cube eight? What is two to the power four sixteen? What is Two to the power five. Two to the power six. Now, what we have is two to the power one is two. Two to the power two is four, and so on. I have written the powers of two. Let's. just focus on the last digit of these answers 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 what will the next digit 2 4 8 6 after 256 you will get 5 to 8 then 1 0 2 4 so the last digits are 5 to 8 2 One zero two four four. So again two four eight six two four eight six, and this is the way it is going to keep going. So the cycles, the powers of two, they go in a cyclic order, and the order is two four eight six two four eight six and so on. Okay. So as we just saw, two to the power four. Was ending with what is the power cycle? Two, four, eight, six. So that ended with six. The cycle of two, by the way, was two, four, eight, six. The fourth digit was six. Two to the power eight. The last digit again was six. Two to the power five ended with this. Two to the power six ended with this. Two to the power seven ended with eight, and two to the power eight again ended with six. Two to the power nine, ten, eleven, and finally again two to the power twelve, which is six again. So the concept is something as simple as this: that when you're looking at the powers of two, what's going to happen is all the powers 
which are multiples of 4 4, 8, 12, 16, 32 so 2 to the power 16 2 to the power 20 2 to the power any multiple of 4 will all end with 6 ok 2 to the power any multiple of 4 will end with 6 let's say 2 to the power 400 that is going to end with 6 again but if I ask you 2 to the power 4 not 1 401 then what would it mean 2 to the power 400 ends with 6 401 will again end with 2 402 will again end with 4 403 will end with 8 and 404 which again is a multiple of 4 will end with 6 again ok not too clear don't worry I will again explain this concept now not with 2 but with 3 ok so please note down the power cycle for 2 which is 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 and so on Three power one. Three. Three power two. Nine. Next power three power three. Twenty seven. Next power three power four. Eighty one. Don't worry. After this, just focus on the units. 3, 9, 7, 1. 3 power 5 is going to be 81 into 3 because this 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 which is 81 into 3 which is 243 which means again ends with 3. Then 3 multiplied with 3 will end with 9. 9 multiplied with 3 will end with 7. 7 multiplied by 3 will end with 1. So the power cycle of 3 is going to be 3, 9, 7, 1. 3, 9, 7, 1 and so on. Okay? So, what we can say is 3 to the power 4 ends with 1. 3 to the power 5 will end with 3. 3 to the power 6 will end with 9. 3 to the power 7 will end with 7. 3 to the power 8 again back to 1. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, again 3 to the power any power of multiple of 4 will end with 1. Let's note down the power cycle of 3 as 3, 9, 7, 1. So for 2 it was 2, 4, 8, 6. For 3 it was 3, 9, 7, 1. All numbers, for the sake of uniformity, this is what I would say. All numbers have a cycle of 4 numbers in which their powers units place would keep repeating. Let's take the example of 4. Okay, 4 power 4, 4 square 16, 4 cube 16 into 4 64. Okay, let's just find out the units region for 4. 4 power 1 is 4, 4 square is 16 so the unit is this 6 4 cube is going to be 6 16 multiplied with 4 so the last digit is going to be again back to 4 64 into 4 is 256 again back to 6 yes it is a cycle of repetition of 2 4 6 4 6 that's okay it can be a cycle of 2 it can be a cycle of 4 it can be a single cycle for example for 5 it is 5, 25, 125, etc. Always 5, 5, 5. It follows the cycle of 1. But I, for uniformity purpose, state that all the numbers follow a cycle of 4. So no confusions whatsoever. Okay? For 4, the cycle is 4, 6, 4, 6. For 5, it is 5, 5, 5, 5. What is it for 6? Think. 6 power 1? 6. 6 square 36 6 cube 6 ending multiplied again with 6 again 6 so 6 is just like 5 the unit digit of any power of 6 6 6 square 6 cube 6 anything is going to be always 6 let's find it what it is for 7 7 7 into 7 ends with 
9. 9 into 7 ends with 3. And 3 into 7 ends with 1. 1 into 7 ends with again 7. 7 into 7 again 9. 9 into 7 again 3 and so on. So the power cycle just like for 2 we had 2, 4, 8, 6 and for 3 we had 3, 9, 7, 1. Now we have got the power cycle of 7. 7, 9, 3, 1. So basically what we are saying is all the 7 power 4th multiples will end with 1. 7 power 4 will end with 1. 7 power 8 will end with 1. 7 power 12 will end with 1 and so on. Okay. If you have got this right, let's just see. 7 power 4 ends with 1. So what would 7 power 5 end with? Goes back here. 7. 7 power 6? 9. 7 power 7? 3. 7 power 8? It's a multiple of 4 again. So 1. Is it okay? So the unit digit of all the 4th mul powers, 4th uh, multiple powers of 7 will always end with 1. So I ask you the question. 7 to the power 285. What is the unit's digit? Okay. So now tell me. The power cycle of 7 is 7, 9, 3, 1. 7, 9, 3, 1. That's what we derived. Okay. So 7 power 4 is going to end with 1. 7 power 8 will end with 1. Any multiple of 4 in the power is going to end with 1. 7 power 40? 1. 7 power 80? 1. 7 power 100? Again 1 because 100 is divisible by 4. So 7 power 100 ends with 1. 7 power 200? 1 because 200 is divisible by 4. 7 power 240? Again. 280, 7 power 280 will end with 1 again. 7 power 284 will end with 1 again. 7 power 284 ends with 1. 7 power 285 will end with 7. So this particular number will end with 7 in the unit digit because 7 power 284 ends with 1. 285 will end with 7. 286 will end with 9, 287 would end with 3 and 288 would be back with 1. That's the way it goes. Okay. Can I now ask you a question? Can you please derive the power cycle of 8? Eight. 8 into 8 would end with 8 is a 64. Will end with 4. 4 into 8 will end with 4 is a 32. So it's going to end with 2. 2 into 8 will end with 6. 6 into 8 will end with 6 is a 48. Back here. Okay. So we are talking about 8 power 1, 8 power 2, 8 power 3 and 8 power 4. 8 power 4 ends with 6. Okay. Now in all power cycles, always remember that the 4th power will all end with 6. 8 power 40, 8 power 80, 8 power 120, 8 power 200. All of them the powers are powers multiples of 4. So they will all end with 6. So if I ask you for 8 power 250, if I ask you what does 8 to the power 250 end with, you will tell me 8 power 4 ends with 6, 8 power 100 therefore will end with 6, 8 power 200 will end with 6, 8 power 240 will end with 6, 244 will also end with 6, 248 will also end with 6, so 8 power 248 is 6, 8 power 249 is 8 and 8 power 250 is ending with 4. That's it. Now, please run the power cycle of 9 and that is the last 
power cycle that we need to be concerned with. What will be the power cycle of 9? 9, 9 into 9 ends with 1. 1 into 9 ends with 9. 9 into 9 ends with 1. So the power cycle just like we have for 4, 4, 6, 4, 6. For 9, we have 9, 1, 9, 1. Now we have the power cycle of all the numbers. So any question which is of the form, what is the units digit? What is the units digit of a number x power something? You'll be able to apply the power cycles concept. These power cycles are all explained in the textbook for you. And we can then try out some more practice questions.